Hey, what's going on guys? B Flatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're gonna to be talking about the I don't even know what to call it. The butcher duplication uh glitch. We'll call it that. <laughs> uh basically the goal of this is to take a riding mount. I haven't had any luck with uh ground mounts, so be cautious of that. I've had more luck with flying mounts. So basically the goal of this is to take a flying mount. I imagine Xbox players could probably get it with ground mounts because they're behind. Um, but basically, you want to take a flying mount that you can ride. So like a Van Worm or a Suzaku. You want to have the Meat Cleaver on you. The Meat Cleaver is able to butcher pals. And those are the only two things you're going to need. The other thing that you're going to need is a little bit of luck and also um, some decent timing. So what we want to do is we want to take our Van Worm. Van Worm is uh, a pal that I'm able to ride. Made the saddle for it. And I've got three Van Worms on me just so I can do this test. Now, Van Worm drops two bones per death. I have eight bones on me just so that we can see the inventory. If I get the timing correct, this will be something that will um, increase the drops. So Suzaku can drop the shotgun, for example. Van Worm can drop uh, bones. But we need to try to time it as soon as the second swing hits a certain time frame to be able to do this right. If you don't do it right, you will fall through the map, so you're going to have to just reset by hitting uh, respawn and then return to title to come back to the game. But respawning just works for me just fine. Uh, you save the pal the entire time. That's the important part. The pal will survive. You get the drops. we got to try to time it right. I do have some clips that will probably show throughout the video if I don't get it right live. Give it a try. One, two, hey, I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Give it a try. One, two, and it died right away, but wait, what? <laughs> what happened? It died right away. But I'm able to jump on it and ride? What? And it's still alive somehow? Ah. Ah. But, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. What we want to do is we want to hit four so that we can butcher the van worm. As soon as that second swing comes in on the butcher, we're going to wait about half a second and then we're going to hold our mount button and then it should work. Give it a try. So that's swing number one. Swing number two, half second, we jump on and we get four bones. See? Now what we're going to do is we're going to hop off our van worm. Our van worm looks dead. Let's go ahead and recall it. And if we look in our inventory, we now have 12 bones and our Van Worm is still alive. Now, I've noticed that the Van Worm or whatever pal um, is there is going to stay glitched. As in, it'll fall through the map. So what I like to do is I like to have multiples of the same pal on me if possible. If you don't have multiples, you can just reset the one over and over again by returning to title. But one thing I do want to test out that I haven't tested yet before recording is what happens yeah. if you butcher a falling through the map pal. Let's go ahead and test that out together. Go ahead and switch to our meat cleaver. Let's go ahead and butcher the van worm. It comes back. One, two, and there I didn't get it as you can see. So the timing is actually quite crucial. So we're just gonna go ahead and respawn. Yeah. We fall through the map, that's fine will respawn in a couple of seconds so even if the uh, pal glitches to the floor the butcher will teleport the pal back to you so that you can be able to redo the glitch so you don't have to reset every time or have multiple pals on you let's go ahead and try it again it does fall through the ground that's fine so what we'll do is we'll butcher one two and then we hop on it dies we get the bones. Oh, that time it actually died, died. Okay, so that's actually good to note. 
if it is glitched and you try to do the butcher and you mistime it, it actually does go to the uh, to the pal graveyard. So keep that in mind. Got to make sure that it is not glitched. Hmm. Glad to know that uh, we discovered that together. So let's try it again. This is a non-glitch van worm. Let's try it again. So one, two. Let me hop on. I missed the timing again, unfortunately. It is a very uh, tedious process, but if you can get that timing down, it is actually quite uh, efficient to be able to get all the drops. This is essentially important for us. This is especially important if you want to go for things like uh, Suzaku schematics for shotguns. If you don't want to fight it multiple times and have to um, put in three respawns, you can actually get it fairly decent. Another thing that I've noticed is work speed is actually something that is very crucial for the timing of butchering. So work speed, it looks like affects butchering directly because I have had uh, my butchering a lot faster than someone else who also did the same thing with 100 butcher speed or work speed, sorry. So remember to keep that in mind that the timing will be different depending on your work speed. If your work speed is 100, which I believe is base, your timing will be about a 2.7, which is what you'll see in the clips previously to this. If your work speed is 500, like mine is, it'll be a little bit different, so you'll have to do the butcher a little bit faster. It's all about timing. But once you find that sweet spot, you should be able to get it just fine. Oh, that one died again. Well, darn. <laughs> Speaking of timing, I don't have it, apparently. Uh, um, But... I've noticed that flat land is uh, the most preferred to be able to do this. Yeah. What I ended up doing was I ended up using this part of the map um, for the most of it. You can do it at your base if you want to. You can also do it on like beaches. Those do work fairly well. If there's a spot where you can fall through the map, it's not really the greatest. But um, finding flat land is actually super helpful. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fast travel to the tree really quickly because that's actually a really decent spot for it. But I've noticed at least. Let me just respawn and I will catch you guys at the tree so I can show you the tree spot. All right, and we're back at the tree. So if you get this wall at the tree, what you want to do is you just want to use uh, Jet Dragon. Suzaku works pretty decently. And you just want to fly all the way up. Something that has a lot of stamina. Suzaku has the most stamina. The dragon is fast enough to fly over that wall to be able to get into this area. Originally, I thought it had something to do with falling through the map to being able to be at an elevated height. That's why I built this silly little tower over here because I was testing out on there with uh, dire wolves. It turns out it has nothing to do with that at all. It's just the timing of it. So this is a pretty flat land. It's actually not too, too shabby. In uh, the previous recording, I realized that the world was glitched due to the uh, glitch that I was trying to do. You can actually notice that by looking at the top left-hand corner of your screen. If you see the sensor bars going up there, that means the world is glitched. You might want to reset and go back to return to title. But now that that is all cleared up and I'm on a somewhat flat land, let's go ahead and try it one more time with the last hmm. remaining van worm that I have left. The last of the van worms. Give it a try. All right, and that's one. And that's two. And I didn't get it, of course. Okay. Uh, I do go through the floor, but the Van Worm survives. So we're just going to go ahead and respawn and try it again. So to sum things up, this is uh, essentially good if you don't want to fight Suzaku's multiple times over, especially with three at a time. It's not that great um, in terms of efficiency if you don't know how to get the timing down. I'll give it one more try. I'll give it one more try. All right, so my world is reset. Go ahead and build a van worm out. And let's hit Butcher. One. Oh, there's no sensors on this one this time. Two. And I didn't get the timing. Okay. So, uh... Go ahead and just look back at the clips, because I can't seem to get it anymore. But uh, that is the Butcher Duplication glitch. I hope you uh, find it a lot more useful than uh, uh, than my luck at the moment. But uh, 
I appreciate uh, that a lot. If you guys are on Xbox version, let me know if it works out a lot better for you because Xbox version is reverted about three patches back from PC. It's um, uh, probably a lot better. It might just be patched on PC and not so much patched on uh, the Xbox version. So let me know if that uh, is something that you find as well. I will see you guys in the next one. My name is B Flattened, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care all. Uh, laters.